Have you ever wondered how a complex machine works? Um, a car engine, a computer, a simple bicycle, they all have different parts that work together to do something amazing. Well consider this, your body is the most incredible machine of all. The male reproductive system is one of its most fascinating departments. It's a biological marvel, a factory, and a delivery service, all rolled into one. Understanding this system isn't just for scientists, it's for you. Knowing how your body works helps keep it running smoothly for life. It's not magic, it's science. Let's start with a mind-blowing fact. From puberty, the male body can produce around 1,000 new sperm cells every single second. That's 60,000 a minute, millions upon millions every single day. These microscopic cells are biological couriers carrying half the genetic blueprint for a new human life. This system isn't just about making babies, it also produces hormones that shape the male body, the depth of a voice, the strength of muscles. So, let's pop the hood, take a look inside, and explore this biological engineering piece by piece. This is a guided tour through your own biology. We'll look at where everything is, what each part does, and how they cooperate in a finely tuned process. Think of it like a factory tour, the production line where sperm are made, the storage warehouse where they mature, the mixing stations where they get their fuel, the final dispatch system. It might seem complicated but broken down it's logical and elegant. Understanding this helps you appreciate your body and take charge of your health. Why is this important? Because knowledge is power. Know the mechanics and you can spot when something's off. Make informed choices. Simple hygiene and knowing when to see a doctor. It demystifies a part of your body people sometimes shy away from. No need to be shy about science. This is your body. Learning about it is one of the coolest things you can do. All right, let's get down to the nuts and bolts, or in this case, the organs and glands. Every great machine is made of individual components, each with a specialized job. The male reproductive system is no different. It's a collection of external parts you can see, and internal parts tucked away safely inside the body. Together, they form a team dedicated to production and delivery. The main players on this team are the testes, the scrotum, the epididymis, the vas deferens, the seminal vesicles, the prostate, the penis, and the urethra. It's a biological assembly line of the highest order. Think of it this way, you'd need a factory, the testes, a climate-controlled warehouse, the scrotum, a conveyor belt system, the tubes, a packaging department, the glands, and a delivery truck, the penis. Each part is absolutely essential. If one piece of the machinery isn't working correctly, the whole production process can be affected. That's why it's so useful to know what each part is called and, more importantly, what its specific role is in this grand biological operation. Externally, we have the penis and the scrotum. The scrotum is the pouch of skin that holds the testes. The penis is the organ used for urination and for delivering semen during sexual intercourse. Internally, the system gets even more intricate. The testes are the primary production centers. Connected to them are the epididymis and the VAS deferens, a network of tubes that transport and store the sperm. Along this route, the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland add special fluids to the mix. Finally, the urethra serves as the exit pathway, a tube that runs through the penis. Let's dive into the heart of the operation. The testes, also known as testicles, these two oval-shaped organs are the primary factories of the male reproductive system. They have two critically important jobs. The first is spermatogenesis, which is just a fancy science word for making sperm. Inside each testis are tiny coiled tubes called seminiferous tubules. This is where the magic of biology happens. It turns specialized cells into the millions of sperm produced each day. It's a continuous, round-the-clock production line that starts during puberty and can continue for a man's entire life. The second major job of the testes is to produce hormones, most notably, testosterone. Testosterone is the chemical messenger largely responsible for the development of male characteristics. These factories have a special requirement. They need to be kept at a specific temperature to work properly. Sperm production is very sensitive to heat. The ideal temperature is a few degrees cooler than core body temperature. So, how does the body solve this problem? Enter the scrotum. The scrotum is the pouch of skin that holds and protects the testes. Think of it as an automatic climate control system. When the body gets too warm, the scrotum relaxes and descends, moving the testes away from core heat to cool them down. When it's cold, a muscle in the scrotum contracts, pulling the testes closer to the body for warmth. It's a constant adjustment, 
all without you thinking about it. This temperature regulation is crucial for producing healthy, viable sperm. That's why people advise against overly tight underwear or long hot tub sessions if fertility matters. So, the scrotum isn't passive, it's an active, essential part of the reproductive machinery. It ensures the testes can make sperm and produce testosterone, a brilliant example of form, following function. Next up, how sperm mature and move into the delivery network. Once the sperm are produced in the testes, they aren't quite ready for their big journey. They're like brand new cars that have just rolled off the assembly line. They look complete, but they still need to be prepped and stored before they can be driven. This is where the epididymis comes in. The epididymis is a long, tightly coiled tube that rests on the back of each testis. If uncoiled, it would be about 6 meters, or 20 feet, long. This incredible length provides time and space for the sperm to mature. As they move through over several weeks they undergo crucial final developments and gain motility, the ability to swim, they strengthen their tails and learn to propel forward like tadpoles learning to wiggle. The epididymis is both finishing school and storage warehouse, it's where sperm are held until they are called upon for ejaculation. Without this maturation, sperm can't complete their journey. This is the job of the vas deferens, a muscular tube connecting the epididymis to the urethra. There are two, one from each testis. During arousal, smooth muscle contractions propel sperm forward, moving them from storage up into the body. Think of the vas deferens as an express highway. It travels from the scrotum into the pelvic cavity and loops around the bladder, rapidly bringing sperm toward the next stage, mixing with fluids to create semen. Its specialized pathways, working flawlessly. The sperm have been produced and matured and now they travel at high speed through the vas deferens, but they can't make their journey alone. They are microscopic cells, they need fluid to swim in, nourishment for energy, and protection from acidity. This is where the support crew comes in. Glands that add fluids to the sperm, transforming them into semen. First stop, the seminal vesicles, a pair of glands near the base of the bladder. They contribute about 60 to 70 percent of semen volume. Their fluid is thick and yellowish, full of fructose, sugar for energy. Like an energy bar before a race, fructose fuels sperm for their long swim. This fluid is a vital energy drink, ensuring stamina. Next, they pass the prostate, a walnut-sized gland under the bladder that surrounds the urethra. It adds a milky, whitish fluid with enzymes that keep semen liquid and slightly alkaline. This alkalinity helps neutralize acidity in the urethra and the female vaginal tract, creating a more hospitable environment. Finally, the bulbourethral glands, two pea-sized glands below the prostate, release a clear, slippery fluid before ejaculation. It lubricates the urethra and helps neutralize residual urine acidity. Together, these contributions transform concentrated sperm into semen, a complex life-sustaining fluid. It's teamwork at a microscopic level. Now, let's follow semen's path to its final destination. Now we have all the ingredients, we have the sperm from the testes, matured in the epididymis, we have the various fluids from the seminal vesicles and prostate gland, the final mix is called semen, sperm are the microscopic cells, semen is the entire fluid vehicle that carries them, sperm make up less than 5% of semen, the rest is nutrient-rich protective fluid, semen now travels into the urethra, the tube running through the center of the penis, the urethra is a dual-purpose tube, most of the time, it carries urine, during sexual response, a small muscle at the base of the bladder contracts, blocking urine. This prevents urine and semen from mixing. The penis is the external organ for final delivery of semen. It's composed of a shaft and a head called the glands. Inside are three columns of spongy erectile tissue, the left and right corpora cavernosa, and the corpus spongiosum. Nerve signals cause arteries in the penis to widen. Blood rushes into the spongy tissue. Veins that normally drain blood are compressed. Blood gets trapped, causing firming and elongation. An erection. An erection allows insertion during intercourse. Ejaculation is the forceful release of semen. It's a reflex controlled by the nervous system. Strong rhythmic muscle contractions at the base and along the urethra propel semen outward. A single ejaculation can release 20 to 300 million sperm. That large number increases the odds that at least one sperm will navigate the female reproductive tract and reach the egg to achieve fertilization. It's the culmination, the final push to complete the biological mission. So, 
We have this incredibly complex reproductive system, but what tells it when to turn on? What flips the switch from under construction to fully operational? The answer is hormones, and the main event is puberty. Hormones are the body's chemical messengers, produced by glands, and traveling through the bloodstream to give orders. The key hormone is testosterone. While it's produced in the testes, the process is kicked off by the brain, a chain of command, hypothalamus, pituitary, testes, testosterone, sperm. The hypothalamus releases GnRH, which prompts the pituitary to release LH and FSH. LH drives testosterone production, FSH drives sperm production. During childhood, the system is quiet. Typically between ages 9 and 14, GnRH ramps up, the start of puberty. Testosterone surge triggers changes, the penis and testes grow, hair appears in the pubic area, under the arms, and on the face, the larynx enlarges and the voice deepens, muscles develop shoulders broaden, and a growth spurt often occurs. The reproductive system comes online with erections and ejaculation becoming possible. It's the nervous, endocrine, and reproductive systems working together. It's not magic, it's biology. You know, like any high-performance machine, the male reproductive system needs regular maintenance to keep it in good working order. Taking care of it is crucial to overall well-being. Daily washing with mild soap and warm water is important. If uncircumcised, gently retract the foreskin and clean underneath to prevent smegma buildup that can cause irritation or infection. Perform a regular testicular self-exam, ideally during or after a warm shower. Check one testis at a time, hold it between your thumbs and fingers and roll it gently. Feel for any hard lumps or smooth rounded bumps and notice changes in size, shape or consistency. It's normal if one hangs lower. Testicular cancer is rare, most common in younger men, and highly treatable when caught early. Be aware of infections including STIs, many need medical treatment, using condoms reduces STI risk and unintended pregnancy. With age, prostate issues become more common. An enlarged prostate can make urination difficult. Erectile dysfunction can occur and may signal underlying conditions like heart disease or diabetes. If you notice a lump, pain, unusual discharge, trouble urinating, or anything worries you, see a doctor. It's routine for them. Early detection matters. So, there you have it. We've journeyed through the amazing, intricate machine that is the male reproductive system. Testes, production centers, scrotum, climate control, epididymis, maturation, vas deferens, delivery, seminal vesicles and prostate, support fluids that create semen, penis and urethra, final delivery. Puberty brings the system online via hormones coordinated by the brain. It's complex and elegant, each part with a vital role demystify your body with science. Keep it healthy. Hygiene, monthly self-exams, safe sex, and checkups when needed. Your body is an amazing machine. You are its chief engineer. Science rules.